Welcome to Fishing Lake Country. Today we're going to talk about the Ned Rig. Yes, the Ned Rig. First of all, let me say, I see a lot of people will make videos about the Ned Rig and they're using a round head like this and not like this. Okay, in the older days, guys, yeah, y'all can tell I'm about 2022. 20, Back when I was about 16, we used to use a round head because this style here was not around. Okay, couldn't find it. It wasn't made yet, but it hadn't been there yet, right? And we'd put a worm on it, and we would take a, of course, we didn't have Senkos either, guys. All we had was rubber worms, right? We would take just a plain old rubber worm, uh, and we would put we would put it on, we pick up something that's easy to do, that was a Z-Man. We would take a plain old rubber worm like that, and put it on just like that, and we'd bite it off sometimes, and we'd drag it across the bottom, and we caught fish on that. But the Ned Rig seems to work much better. I'm going to share that with you. Now, I see that in the videos that people make on YouTube. So today I want to share with you, and I, this is the Z-Man head. I'm going to show you a couple heads, all right, which is a great head. Z-Man makes a power head that has a bigger hook. I'm going to show you in case you haven't seen the difference, guys. They're both great. They make a weedless one called a Snake Z, okay, which is, which is great. You can put anything you want on it. One of the heads I use a lot is the Bass Pro Shop head. It's got a guard on it. I noticed I like the guards. This this works really well. I use a lot of those. Uh, another reason I use them too is because they're they're a lot cheaper. All right, and the Bass Pro Shop head comes in a couple sizes. If you want a little in sixteenth, okay. Also, I got a head here by a company called Cumberland. If I can pick it up, by a company called Cumberland. The hook's a little small on it. Got a big old weed guard, that's fine. The longer this weed guard is, when a fish bites it, it pulls down easier. Don't cut the guard off, though, if you haven't tried those. That's a mushroom style head, it still works. Okay? And it's a company called Flatlands made the weedless head. I've been using these guys, and actually I've been using them too, but just putting on a finesse worm on them, they work fine. Okay? And VMC makes one called this, and it's called there's a finesse head. Same, same style, it's got double weed guards, you can leave both of them on it. Cut one off if you want to. I usually just split them like that so they mess the hook when they come down. All right. Guys, another thing. If you got some good heads, it's debate. Now, you don't need all these different heads. I like trying different heads. Y'all know me by now if you've been watching my channel. I try some different things at times. At times, that's how I know what's good and what's not good. So, I'm spending money trying different things and different techniques and sharing with you what I think is the best. The cream of the crop I'm sharing with you. The biggest thing I use most of the time, guys, is just a young dinger. That's a four-inch young dinger. They work just fine. This is a three-inch dinger. There's times that this green pumpkin with the chartreuse tail, it's good stuff. It's 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 the juice, as y'all want to call it, you know, young people. It's times I throw that and just have a bottle with it. I'm gonna leave a spot right here to show you that a three-inch one will catch nice fish too. The young dingers will catch nice fish. You don't have to have a big bait to catch big fish. I've caught bass up to about five pounds on a Ned rig. Yeah, the hook's a little small. You got to be careful on the bigger fish. They can throw it easy. But uh, it will catch some bigger fish. That's what we got here, fellas. I'm going to tell you, it's been a tough morning. I had some time today, so I thought I'd fish a little bit. Oh, that's like some nice fish. Water's 52 degrees. It's in December. There's a nice fish. We're in the 1st of December. I uh, haven't thrown a jerk bait today because it's been windy. Oh, well, I almost got my paws on him, didn't I? Y'all can't see, can you? I was recently trying to grab him, guys. You never know. I had a little Ned rig with a 4-inch Senko, and I cut him off. Look how fat that one is. He's a nice hen. That's a nice fish right there. Guys, this is a this is a Bass Pro bait. Got a little tail on it, flops around. They make a bait called a sticko. Now, ladies out here to show you this, guys, because some I know a lot of y'all folks are on a budget. This just happens to be a shad color. 
kind of gray with a flake in it. I have them in watermelon, green pumpkin. Just trying to give you help. So that's a budget bait, and it work. I'm sharing them with you. I won't share nothing with you that won't work. Jean LaRue inchworm. Works fine. I've got some fish on that. It's got a medium one end. It's got a little bitty tail that swims. So that's a neat bait. Okay. This is this is by Jock Hall. It's called a yummy. A little yummy fish. It's just a fat sinker is all it is. Works fine. Robo worm. Robo worm. It's called a nid worm. It's all it's called. It's got a little purple. Green pumpkin with like a little purple stripe in it. Okay. Now. This is probably the most popular bait people use. Yokomoto, Cinco, three inch. That's watermelon red flake. They're probably the best. If we come down to one bait, they're the best. And this is a four inch one. Guys, it's hard to beat the uh, Yokomoto stuff. Y'all know that. Uh, I'll show you a package right here. This is what this came out of. Some of y'all probably never used a three inch one. They make three and a four. They limit the colors, they make the three inch. But that's watermelon red flake. It works just fine. Does a good job. Now, Z-Man. The most popular with Z-Man is right here. Three inch. But they have a four inch. It works fine too. They make a hula grub. This is to be black and blue. It works good. It's called a hula Z. I'll show you some things I use. This is new. I just bought these. I haven't used them. I'm just going to share this one with you. This is a mena style bait. The reason I'm sharing that with you. Before that came out, I used these. Shad Z's. As you can see, it looks like a little shad. That little tail. You can see a little tail flopping. If you're somewhere where there's a lot of shad going on, you can stick out in one of those heads. Bam. Throw it out there. If they're schooling, it usually won't even hit the bottom. They got it. Let me give you a tip too, guys. Put it on the lightest heads you can find. One sixteenth. There's a light one. So when it sinks to the water, it just glides. And it's checking out every once in a while. It's gliding. It won't hit the bottom. They think it's an injured shad heading to the bottom. That's around schooling fish uh, in the fall, and even after the spawn. This is a hogsy. It's got some legs on it, got some arms on it, a, little, a lot of little things to shake and make some uh, flash in the water movement. And they make a, um, help me, two bait. <laughs> Somebody, when you break about 22, you start losing your memory a little bit sometimes. Now, guys, to share those with you, uh, they're all good baits, and I've used them all except, except for this. This is new to me. I just wanted to share that with you. And I know a lot of guys are getting the new little crawls. I haven't bought any of those yet. Uh, probably going to. I want to try them. But I want to, want to uh, share some things with you that I've been using. If I had to pick three, I would go with Young Dinger. I would go, of course, with Yokomoto and the Bass Pro Shop. If I had to pick three, Pit fish with. You're on a budget, you can't buy a lot of stuff. You're not going to beat these, there's a couple dollars a pot and you get 20. This is the most expensive. Y'all come out, y'all know that. But the three inch one works. Green pumpkin, watermelon red flake. Yum Dinger's probably one of the cheapest. They're like three dollars a bag. Guys, they work on about any color green pumpkin, watermelon. That's what, uh, that is watermelon candy. They work. You're not going to beat them. The Bass Pro Shop head is probably the cheapest head that you can buy. It's a good hit. I've caught a lot of fish on it. It's got a good double bar. Once you bust a bait a little bit, you can put a little shot of super glue on it if you want to. No more. That's the best thing to do. If that bait's pulling down on you, you're messing with fish. He's grabbing the thing. When you set the hook, the bait just slips in his mouth and he's gone. All right. Last but not least, this is a 6'6 six six Dobbins Ferry. Great. It's a medium light. Shimano. Nice or real. Eight, right now I have 8 pound P line floor clear, which is a it's a fluorocarbon coated line. I like it because it don't have a lot of twist. It doesn't spit off your reel real bad. And some reels you can open the bill and go, <sighs> you see it keep just what was loose on it, that's it. It's been on there for quite a while too. It's probably been on there six months. It does fine. Uh, pick a good line, nice reel, reel that's comfortable to you as we talked about. Six and a half foot to seven foot is probably what you want to be at. Say according to your size. Find a real of fish. Uh, it feels good in your hands. Thank you for watching Fish in Lake Country. I'm trying to help all of us grow, help you become a better fisherman. Hopefully, I shared something with you that you probably haven't seen or thought about. Maybe a bait you haven't tried yet. 
That's what we're all about. We're trying to help everybody become a better fisherman. Subscribe, guys, down below. Check out my other videos like Scrounger Fishing at a Bridge, where I show you how to use a scrounger jig, a Tennessee trimmer jig, uh, which is a jig with a plastic blade on the front that makes a wall if you haven't seen the video. And I show you what baits I'm using and what trailers I'm using. And I catch four to seven pounders in that video. I catch one that's four and one that's seven. And I got another one coming up you're going to see shortly with a seven pounder in it. So check that out. Subscribe, please. And we'll see you next time. My name is Dennis on Fishing Lake Country. Well, look, I hope I didn't skip anything. I don't know what to call this section. I'm going to start trying to add one of these every week or so. Uh, I thought about just calling it, what?